Okay, today's episode is gonna be about skin health, particularly acne and eczema. These are two things that I dealt with and they really got me interested in health and wellness and I know tons about this. And I'm gonna tell you today how I fixed my skin and if you try this, I've had hundreds and hundreds of DMs. They're really the most heartwarming DMs of people sending me before and after photos, all this type of stuff. And they're just, they can't believe it, honestly. If you've never heard of this stuff or that you can fix your skin through mainly just diet, it's pretty mind blowing, but we're gonna get into some of the science here. But this podcast is gonna be more about just what to do rather than going deep into the science. So. To start out, just personally, I had acne, I had eczema, I had bad skin, and I was told by a dermatologist that it had nothing to do with diet, nothing to do with nutrition, that I just need to rub all these products onto my face and it, it, hope that it would go away. They would say that, it, oh, it's just because you're uh, you know, young. This was, I wasn't that young, I was like 19, 20 at the time. They're like, oh, you probably just have like oh, hormones, high hormones. But that didn't really make sense to me either. But I trusted it, I trusted the normal dermatology route and it didn't help at all. I was still struggling with acne. I It was seemed random to me when I would get it and it was really frustrating, but I'm sort of thankful for it in hindsight because it allowed me to sort of delve deeper into health and wellness and it's what got me started in nutrition, honestly. So, the reason that your diet affects your skin is there's something called the gut skin access. You can look up gut skin access. This is well described in tons of studies. This is not a myth. This is not a theory. There is a direct connection between your gut health and your skin health. Your skin is your body's largest organ. It is part of your body, okay? The dermatology industry and a lot of these skincare companies try to separate it. They try to say, oh yeah, no, your skin has really nothing to do with your health. It's pretty random when things pop up. It's not true at all. There are so many of these companies that sell these steroid creams for eczema. They sell uh, drying creams essentially with acids for acne. And it's a huge industry guys. And they're trying to convince you that your skin is basically separate from your body. It's completely different. No, your skin is your body's largest organ. It is directly related to everything that's going on with your health. And it's one of the areas that shows different aspects of your health. So first of all, if you are 13, 14, 15, you're going to get some pimples. What I'm talking about is today is not completely 100% curing acne, preventing it. You're gonna get some acne. If I drink alcohol or I you know, eat some foods that I know don't do well with my skin, I may get some pimples. But listen, now I can control it or I know what's causing it. I had some tequila, I had some in and out I didn't get too good to sleep and I got a pimple. I'm not worried about that at all. That, that, I control it now. I know what to do and what to eat in order to clear my skin, and I think that's what you're going for as well. So this isn't some 100% you know, foolproof solution, but this will 100% improve your skin health. So look into the gut skin access. Basically what's going on there is when you eat foods that cause what is known as gut permeability or leaky gut, there's gonna be food particles that seep into your bloodstream and your immune system is gonna react to that. There's also an inflammatory cascade involving C-reactive protein that can affect your hormone levels. Foods can affect your hormones, so you can have you know, a massive increase in DHT if you're eating foods that don't deal well with your, your body. And so the gut skin access is real and we're gonna go into what to do to fix acne. So what you want to do, this is only for 60 days of your life. I want you to try this. Maybe even 30 days, you'll see a difference. What you need to do, and it's not to say you can't add these foods back in because I know this is a pretty strict regimen, but if you're someone dealing with acne or eczema or psoriasis, just try this. It's 30 days of your life. Stick to it and see what happens. And you will be one of the hundreds and hundreds of people of DM me saying, oh my God, you change my life, I don't get acne anymore, I don't get eczema, and you'll be able to go back to this if you get a flare up, if you decide to you know, go live some life, eat some pizza, whatever. But here's how you start. The first thing is you wanna remove all grains. This includes rice, this includes corn, this includes wheat, this includes buckwheat, this includes all these type of grains. You want to remove them for 30 days. I currently eat white rice because you can reintroduce these foods after a little while. Remove all grains, gluten, barley, quinoa, beer. Beer is made with grain, okay? We're also gonna remove all processed sugar. This means cane sugar. This means high fructose corn syrup. This means brown rice syrup. This means coconut sugar, which is a processed sugar. Um, this means, you know, uh, maltodextrin. This means date sugar. Remove all processed sugar. If you haven't done this before, this is going to be brutal the first two weeks. Your body will literally detox from this. We have so many processed sugars and just all types of sugar in our environment that if you haven't done this before, it's gonna be really brutal to do. I remember the first two weeks when I did it, oh, I was getting headaches. Um, the sugar cravings are insane. 
it requires some mental discipline to just stick to it. But I'm just telling you the facts of what works. You're also going to want to remove um, all lectin, goitrogen, and oxalic acid rich foods. Now I'm not saying you need to completely avoid these as you know, almost all foods have some of these, but you don't want to load up on these. So what does this mean? You don't want to eat spinach. You don't want to eat a lot of chocolate. You don't want to eat beans. You don't want to eat broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, um, a lot of that. Now it's not to say you can't eat small amounts of those, but do not make those your main source of sustenance. You also want to remove nuts and seeds as they're really rich in phytic acid and they're actually a really common trigger for skin issues. So remove nuts and, uh, nuts and seeds, almonds, macadamia nuts, cashews, pumpkin seeds, anything that's a nut or a seed. And in addition to that, you want to remove all seed oils. This includes canola, soybean oil, uh, rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil. And I currently, like I just had uh, in and out a few days ago, uh, you know, I had seed oils and I didn't get a breakout, I'm fine. But for right now, 30 days of your life, remove them. The other thing you want to remove is egg whites. Egg white is a common food allergy. I currently eat egg whites. I eat eggs all the time. But again, 30 days, we're going to eliminate those. So you're probably saying, Jesus, Brennan, what do I eat now? You just had me eliminate so many foods. So what are we going to eat? So you're going to eat a high protein diet. You're going to add in a moderate amount of carbohydrates from fruit, from honey. So here's what you can eat. You can eat high quality grass fed meat and eat a lot of it. This includes grass fed beef. This includes grass fed lamb. This includes elk, you know, any ruminant red meat animal. Okay. You can eat high quality chicken. I'm going for organic chicken here. I wouldn't eat it more than three times a week. Get pasture raised chicken. If you can, you can eat chicken, wild fish. You can eat wild fish, uh, probably two to three times a week wild salmon, uh, wild cod. I wouldn't go too hard on the wild tuna as there is uh, some mercury issues with that, but you can eat some wild fish. You can also eat squash and sweet potato. So sweet potatoes, yams, butternut squash, all that type of stuff. That's a really good source of carbohydrates and it's really soothing for your gut. Uh, you can also eat carrots. I'm a fan of carrots and with all this stuff, you want to use plenty of high quality fat. So this is grass fed ghee. This is coconut oil. This is grass fed butter. This is beef tallow. You can use some avocado oil. You can use some extra virgin olive oil to make sure it's high quality stuff. And what I also want you to do is drink bone broth. So find a bone broth that doesn't have a lot of ingredients or make your own bone broth. And you're going to want to drink about, you know, a couple cups of this per week would be ideal. Now, I realize this is a very strict diet, but this is 100% what will work for you. And there are some other things that I'm going to want you to do during these 30 days. So one is if you have access to a sauna, try to get in there three times a week. Sauna. It's also going to help with those sugar cravings as your body does activate those detox pathways. A lot of people say detox is bullshit. You can look at Dr. Rhonda Patrick from Berkeley, her research on sauna showing that you do sweat out heavy metals, BPA, you improve your immune system, you improve your blood flow, and this helps you detox your skin. And what I also want you to do is move. So because your skin is your body's largest organ and your lymphatic system helps you detox, you do want to move. So this minimum, you have to do, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of walking per day. You should do some workouts, you know, some weights. I don't want you to go crazy hard on the weights if you're really trying to clear uh, some, you know, a bad uh, case of acne or eczema. I don't want you to overtrain as that can lead to some higher inflammatory levels. But for right now, get some good movement in. And if also possible, if you can get 20 to 30 minutes of full body sun exposure, this is going to depend on how dark your skin is. If you have super fair skin, be careful with that. But if you have slightly, you know, darker skin or you just don't get burnt. Okay. But try to get 20 to 30 minutes per sun. Uh, definitely lift weights. And the other thing is get eight hours of deep sleep per night. And we're going to get in some of the supplements that I took during this skin cleanse, um, whatever you want to call it reset, but you have to get good deep sleep. During this time, I stopped using all face washes every single face product that I was wasting money on. And if you really want to think about this, think about this is what turned the light on in my brain. I got my degree in anthropology from UC Santa Cruz and all the time we'd study these tribes um, and they literally have no concept of skincare. No concept of skincare. There's not a, a face wash. They don't even know what that is. And literally they'll have dirt on their skin. I mean, this is common. You can look up, you know, look up photos of indigenous tribes, yet they have beautiful, flawless skin. Why is that? Is it, it's, it's insane. I, I talked to dermatologists about this. They just say that it's genetic. I don't believe it because if a dermatologist were to tell you, oh, don't rub dirt on your face and wash your face twice a day. Well, why are there so many examples of people from all over the world that never wash their face that violate all the dermatology rules of skincare 
and they have flawless skin with no acne, no eczema, no psoriasis. Why is that? It might be because your gut, your gut and immune system directly relates to your skin. So, um, if possible, buy a chlorine filter for your shower. My buddy Austin just started a whole company making these, Organic Jaguar, but just get any good filter on Amazon for your shower. As our water's chlorinated, it does dry it out. Um, drink plenty of, of reverse osmosis water. You can drink a small amount of black coffee in the morning. You can drink tea. Just make sure you're not drinking uh, dairy or sweetening you know, your drinks. You want to completely eliminate processed dairy and cheese and all this. Okay, some key supplements that I took for this. Um, the first one's gonna be L-glutamine powder, about four to five grams per day. This is gonna help you rebuild that gut layer and also helps with sugar cravings, which is pretty cool. There's some science on that. But you just take L-glutamine powder, really affordable supplement. You take about a spoonful of it, about four to five grams, mix in some water. That is how you can start off your morning drinking that. The second thing you wanna look into is L-lysine. L-lysine helps your immune system and it helps your skin health. So I like to take about a gram of L-lysine per day. Another good thing to take is vitamin C, about 1,000 milligrams per day. Another supplement that I like to take is N-acetylcysteine. This is going to help your liver detox and help reboot your glutathione levels. Glutathione is your body's master antioxidant, so taking some N-acetylcysteine is a good idea. Magnesium glycinate in the evening is a really good supplement to take. This can improve sleep, and a lot of people are se severely deficient in magnesium, which is essential for skin health. Another supplement is L-theanine. This is going to help you get that deep sleep. Um, electrolytes can absolutely help with sugar cravings. We make an electrolyte, but just find a good salt-based electrolyte. And then the other thing you're going to want to get is collagen or beef isolate protein. Obviously, we make our beef isolate protein but you can also get collagen, which is widely accessible. They sell it at every Walmart. And you're gonna wanna you know, take about 20, 30 grams of that per day. So you're gonna be eating a high protein diet, a lot of grass fed beef, you're gonna be eating sweet potato, you're gonna be eating some fruit, you know, apples, bananas. You wanna go a bit lower on the carbohydrates and fill up on protein and fat. It's going to be difficult. This is not gonna be some easy like program that's just like, oh, this is gonna be so easy. If you're just coming from, especially eating a standard American diet, this is gonna be hard. I remember the first week of this, it was very hard for me. I had sugar cravings, I wanted to quit. Your brain starts to tell yourself, oh, like, you know, this, whatever, this isn't gonna work. And in the first week or two, you might have basically like a skin purge. Your body needs to adapt to this. It needs to get rid of a lot of the bullshit in your gut. But after two weeks, you will start to notice your skin clear. If you have eczema, you're not gonna get flare ups. And it's just honestly the most amazing thing. And again, here, just a disclaimer, I'm speaking from personal experience and just experience of friends that I've seen. I'm not a doctor. This isn't going to cure any of your diseases. Check with your doctor. But what are they going to say? Buy this cream. So um, just some tips. Yeah, don't eat too many carbohydrates. Don't go off on the fruit. Just like eat a moderate amount of carbohydrates. Try to fill up on meat, fish, healthy proteins. Use plenty of healthy fats, grass-fed ghee, coconut oil, butter, um, and you can, you know, look at my cookbook. I have tons of recipes in there that have, you know, it, recipes using those ingredients and with that style of eating. But the overall message I want to get across to everybody is that your skin health does come from within. It absolutely does. I used to struggle with skin health so much and it was so frustrating. And when you go to a dermatologist, they don't tell you any of this stuff. And it's extremely insane it's just an insane system we have where they say rub these creams on your face rub stuff on your symptoms on an eczema rash and it'll heal up it doesn't it keeps coming back over and over and over again if you have a hormone issue and you feel like your acne is hormonal you can look into a supplement like dim dim um, you can look into that just google dim acne and see what people are writing about there's also supplements like vitamin b5 if you google vitamin b5 and acne that could be another one to take specifically for acne so there's not a lot of info out there about this stuff, so I feel like I just wanna come on and tell you what's worked for me. If you clear up your gut health, your skin health will follow 100%. Again, it's your body's largest organ. It's directly related to your health. So nowadays, I feel like my skin's pretty good, especially when I'm on my diet and not getting you know, bad sleep or drinking alcohol. And now I feel like I control it because now if I want to go, you know, have some tequila and eat whatever and I get a pimple, I don't really care. I don't, I really don't care. I'm like, oh, I got a little pimple. I, I ate off my diet. My body probably had some inflammation. No worries. So I'm trying to put the control back in your hands. I do have a whole ebook on this titled How I Fix My Skin. So I hope this does help you, but this is a lot of info there to get you started. And this can be used just as a nice reset for your skin. So enjoy. 
Let me know what other episodes you want to see me dive into, topics you want to see me dive into. And yeah, I hope that helps.